sub, bruh. I'm really in the mood to have someone's lunch money, so, uh, you're gonna give me yours. Got it, okay? To make me give you a swirly. Oh, you want one anyway, huh? Okay, come on. <laughs> How do you like that, huh? You want some more? I thought I would just, uh, tell you something about myself, since you're sitting here anyway. You know, I went to get some pizza the other night, you know, of course, with this lunch money that I got from some other kid. And I was standing in line, I happened to have some of my Harry, Harry Potter glasses on, and, uh, this guy told me that I was cute, but he doesn't like my glasses. <laughs> You know what I thought about that? Well, sometimes I don't like women because of uh, the superficial ego persona that they put on, and I see that happening with a lot of people that happen to be gay. And uh, being formerly bisexual until my twin flame, uh, you know, changed me. Let's just say flipped me. And so now I, I like to refer myself as very hardcore straight. But I just found it very interesting. I couldn't put my finger on it quite, quite why it bothered me, you know. When I talk to some people that just happen to be gay, and it's not because they like to, you know, be with men or be with women, the same sex, that's definitely not the reason. <laughs> Let me just tell you. Because I've definitely done that myself, so it doesn't really bother me. But what does bother me is that you're telling me what looks cute on me and what doesn't look cute on me. Just like some of the women that I've met in my life that I don't like to hang out with, you know what I'm saying? They're superficial. And they think they just know everything. And it really bothers me. You know, some nerds act like that too. It must be some kind of an ego thing, you know? 